Hi everyone. Thank you for joining us as we dive deep into dashboards in Vorn Excel. I'm Sabrina and I'm incredibly excited to give you a full tour today. Dashboards are a central feature in Excel as they enable you to quickly and easily visualize your data your way. We are going to begin today with some dashboard essentials, views, layouts, and widgets. But first, where do you find dashboards? In software versions 2.19 and earlier, you can find dashboards under the monitor menu. In newer versions of Excel, navigate to all dashboards under the dashboards menu. The out of the box default view for dashboards is a shift export view. Excel includes a number of export dashboards, which make it incredibly easy to export data from Excel. Export dashboards are always built from a table. Each column represents a field to be exported, in other words, a metric or dimension, and each row represents a grouping of information such as shift, part, or any of the other 20 plus dimensions. To export, simply click on the export live control. If you have questions while you create a dashboard, click on the help drop down menu for other videos related to the page you're viewing. Now let's explore dashboards and views. Each dashboard is a view within the dashboards page. You can access all the views within the view dropdown. There are three types of views, built-in, shared, and local. Built-in views are the same in every Excel device. They provide you with a starting set of export templates and reports. Because they are built-in, these views cannot be permanently modified or deleted. However, you can make changes to a built-in dashboard and then choose Save As to create your own local version. From there, you can optionally promote it to being a shared view. Shared views are created by Excel administrators. They are stored in the Excel device and are available to everyone that has appropriate access rights. Anyone can create local views. However, they are stored in your browser and as such, they can only be accessed from the computer and browser where they were created. And if you clear local storage in the browser, you will also be clearing your local views. Therefore, we recommend that you only use local views for temporary or short-term dashboards. Anything longer term should be promoted to shared. Next, let's delve into the anatomy of a dashboard. Dashboards are organized into sections, columns, and widgets. A dashboard can include any number of sections, each with its own heading. This enables you to include as much information as you want. No limits. Here are two tips. First, think about how to organize information into sections to make it as easy as possible to digest the information. Second, use section headings to help people navigate the report. There is a floating toolbar below each section. This toolbar enables you to add a section, move the section up, move the section down, delete the section, or change the column layout within the section. Information within a section is organized as columns. There are eight different column layouts from which to choose. Within a column, you can vertically stack any number of widgets. You can also move the widgets freely using the drag handle. This dashboard shows one section with three columns across and two stacked widgets in each column. Use section and column layouts to create a visual presentation that enhances your team's understanding of the data. Tell a story with your data. The key to creating the absolute best dashboards is knowing your widgets. Excel has nine widgets that you can add to dashboards. And on widgets are perfect for showing the real time, right now status of work centers in a large, colorful, and visually impactful format. Each andon is split into three logical areas. The top shows the work center name and its current production state. The middle shows up to four metrics of your choosing. The bottom shows dimension data, such as the part that is running. 
you can add any number of dimensions. Chart widgets provide a graphical representation that is useful for comparing, contrasting, and trending. Excel makes it super easy to create charts by leveraging Quick Charts, which automatically selects the best chart for you given your desired metrics and dimensions. You can visualize your data with line charts, column charts, Pareto charts, heat map charts, column cluster charts, column stack charts, and Pareto stack charts. Chronogram widgets create a visual timeline of production. You can show a chronogram for any dimension, but most commonly they are used to show production state, shift, shift hour, or part. Here are two tips. First, you can add metrics and use heat map colors to highlight how well production went during each block of time. Second, chronograms are extremely useful for modifying event data and interacting with comments. Event list widgets create a vertical timeline of production that is optimized for exploring data with integrated reports for metrics, defects, and comments. KPI widgets focus on a single metric in a large format. They provide lots of contextual information, such as trend data, and a spark line that shows the metric value over time. KPI group widgets depict multiple metrics and dimensions organized in a tabular fashion with optional headings. They are great for summarizing thematically related data in a compact, scannable format. You can get really fancy with the information you visualize in a KPI group. Pivot table widgets summarize and cross-tabulate data across multiple dimensions, which makes it easier to analyze and compare. This includes comparing reject reasons across parts or cross-tabulating OEE factors by shift and work center. Table widgets organize dimensions and metrics in a tabular format where rows are dimension values and columns are most commonly metrics, but can also be dimensions. Here's a tip. The group live control is very important in tables as it enables you to organize data chronologically as individual events, aggregate data by dimension value, or show data hierarchically with drill down and roll up. Tables also have unique integrated visuals, such as attention lists, bar charts, comments, metric lists, and spark dimensions. Tables, like most widgets, also include powerful filters. The Top Losses widget is a special type of table that compares the impact of all OEE losses by how much production time is lost. We call it Ranking Your Losses. Voila! Now you've mastered the fundamentals and theory of dashboards. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for lots more great content. If you found this information helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. The same team of Excel experts behind this video is ready and waiting to help you with any questions you may have. So please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.